spent the last month feeling bad. Oh, you can see me in my underwear, bro. Tonight I feel immortal. Oh. I got a serious question I gotta ask for the people that already saw the movie. So if you haven't saw the movie, um, can you please politely answer the video real fast? Especially those of you to be like, oh, I hate people that spoil the movie. So I'm letting you right now about this, this, this whole review is a spoiler review. So let's let's go ahead and walk y'all out real quick. All right, appreciate you for coming though. We got everybody that, that saw the movie here, right? So this is what I gotta ask. And be honest now. Be honest, all right? It's just, just us now, just us. If your life depended on it, would you smash Pearl? Be honest now, if your life depended on it, would you smash this? So let's talk about it's, I believe Ty West is the director of this film. Surprisingly, they shot X and Pearl. Pearl, the prequel of X is going to be coming out. So surprisingly, they shot both back to back. So they shot it during quarantine time. So that's why the movie kind of looks kind of low budget, you know, when it comes to the actors. Because I think it's about maybe like a total of a good eight people in this movie. So the movie isn't really low budget, but they just, you know, they worked with what they had at, at, at the time. And at the time, it wasn't much. But so we got the movie centered around what seems like Maxine and Pearl. So Pearl is the older woman that's going around murking people because she's horny. Like at first I was like, this ain't really a horror film that can scare you, but it, it does make you think a little bit. Like just, just a little bit, just a little bit. But hearing the, the director's idea of the movie made me appreciate it a little bit more because at first I was like, if this is a horror film you want us to take like seriously and actually have nightmares over this like this this ain't it this ain't it no this is like a fun and like sort of charming movie not like a like a dark nihilistic movie me and my wife like i didn't i watched the movie by myself but i showed my wife like parts of the movie because like to me this movie is, is hilarious like especially the scenes with the older woman, and if you didn't know, the person playing Matt scene and Pearl is Mia Golf. So that's why the older woman doesn't seem all like a real old person. It's just Mia Golf in makeup. By watching his interviews and everything, Ty West's interviews on this movie, it seems like the main reason why he wanted wanted Mia to play both roles is because he had like the prequel already in mind, you know when making that. So we got the rest of the cast, so the rest of the the crew, I'm, I'm scared to say the P word here on YouTube, y'all. I'm scared to say the P word. But we got the rest of the uh, crew. So we got Maxine's boyfriend that strangely reminds me, like not the actor himself, but the character in the movie, he strangely reminds me of uh, Matthew McConaughey. Like, actually, like, when I first started moving, I was like, is that Matthew McConaughey? The rest of the crew, I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm interested in the rest of the crew. Because the, the main reason I, I wanted to watch this movie is is for Kid Cudi. And I'm gonna give him his 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 uh, flowers and say his real name, because he's, he's doing his thing as, like, an actor. So, I watched this movie mainly for Scott Miss Cudi. I'm 32, I'm a 90s baby, and I feel like the, the the artist kid Cuddy touched a lot of, touched a lot of us when we was younger. Even though the film is about like the the the, the P crew, like it's not that much. Like it's still kind of tasteful. Like they didn't have that much sex in it and stuff like that. It's still like more of a horror movie than like the you know watching some vintage porn. I love the way the movie starts, especially the opening scene when like. Cause the opening scene it reminds me of like you know how those those vintage films are where they have like those bars at the at the sides. I feel like that's the idea they was going for. And I think they're gonna pretty much open up the uh, movie Pearl the same way, but like in a different you know point of view, of course. When it comes to like a serious horror movie, like the beginning and up until the part of like the first kill when she um, was like dancing in that red light with which was like the blood covered um, headlights. I was like, okay, like that's kind of eerie seeing her do that. But 
as soon as they had the scene with her and the Harold, and Harold was like, come on. Harold was like, Pearl, we talked about this now. I was like, okay, so old Pearl, she just, she just needs some. Like, she still, <laughs> she's young at heart. At this point, it was kind of like, okay, like, this is, this is, it's, it's, it's not a horror movie. It's not like something I'd be scared of, but it's definitely like entertaining. So I definitely kept watching and I was like interested in Pearl at this point. You kind of feel sorry for her, but then it's like, you know, well, you're just murking people for no reason. So that quickly goes away. Knowing they, they made the movies back to back, like um, uh, X and then Pearl, it kind of makes sense because once the killing starts, like the movie, it seems like kind of kind of quick. Like it doesn't. It seems like something something else is missing. So we just got like you know we meet the crew, uh, we meet Pearl and Har Harold, and then the killer start. And shortly after that, the movie ends. Maybe that's just supposed to be like an alley hoop to the next movie coming out. Cause I'm gonna see it, but like you know, like I said, I, I, I mainly watch this movie for Kid Cudi. And I gotta give it up for y'all for not killing Scott, Miss Cuddy, first, cause that's what I was afraid of. Like that was one of the reasons why I kept watching to the end. I was like, don't do my boy dirty, don't do my boy, boy dirty. They did him dirty, but they did him dirty last. So I was, I was happy to see that that we we passed that whole you know killing black people first and all that. I do feel like y'all did the the Kid Cuddy fans dirty. Like y'all had him, y'all had like a whole musical number in the film. And we didn't get like no homes from Kid Cudi. Like we got like a, a little of a home. It seemed like he got he started getting into it. Mm -hmm. Like he almost hit it, but y'all didn't let him hit it. Of course, I could talk about Kid Cudi all day, but when it comes to this film, like like the director Ty West said, um, when it comes to like a a lighthearted, um, entertaining, fun film, like this is it. This is it. This, this is what you'll get you'll get something entertaining, something that you don't want to stop watching. But when it comes to something that you can take away from it, the only message that can be behind this movie is, is um, your youth doesn't last forever. These are the parts of the movie where it starts to feel like sad because it's realistic that, you know, we're all going to get old one day and, and, and all this is going to stop working. So you can feel it a lot right before the first kill because Pearl, she just, she just wants some affection and, and her husband can't give it to her, even though he, he really wants to. She just wants some affection. She just want to feel wanted. She just want to feel loved. And we all want to feel that deep down. So that's the only thing I can take away from it. Kind of made me want to say like, okay, well, I need to make the best, best out of these, these 50, 70, or however many years, God willing, that I can when it comes to, to that's word. This hyped up Pearl a lot. This hyped up Pearl a lot. Like I'm not interested in the the, act, the actress Mia Golf and the other actors in the Pearl film, but I am interested in Pearl's story. Like how did she get there? How is Pearl and Matt scene connected? Maybe I'll do a follow up I'll review on uh, Pearl as well. Me and my wife definitely got some inside jokes with that slow dance scene, but. Nah, that's, this, this junk is hilarious, man. But all right, man, I need to go take some medicine.